Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle. We're gonna open Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, plus for the month of June. Okay, $25 a month, you get five full-size products, and I will link the information down below. I think I forgot to say that in my last video. By the way, I apologize. Let's see, this is gonna go up Tuesday. I, no, this is gonna go up Wednesday. Maybe I'll do two videos. I forgot to, I don't know, I had a video ready for Monday and I thought it was already set up and ready to go, but apparently I didn't schedule it. <laughs> so Monday, nothing went up. So I apologize. I will try to make it up to you guys. I try to at least have a video Monday through Friday and then usually Saturdays and sometimes Sundays, but I try to at least Monday through Friday consistently. So sorry about that guys. Um, okay. Ipsy also has Ipsy Glam Bag, which is 12, and Ipsy Ultimate, which is 50. So, you know what's interesting is it looks like the post office put a piece of tape on it because there's like this little thing and it was cut. So, hopefully, um, nobody cut and got into my Ipsy. I guess we will find out. Discover yourself. Let's see, did we get a card? We did not, because Ipsy does not want to do cards anymore for some reason. Hold on. It's another month of me being bitter. Okay, so June, and I mean, obviously this is a card. I mean the card that talks about the products. Uh, June 2020, make waves. Summer is more than a season, it's a state of mind. You deserve to rock that neon liner, swipe the bright gloss, and go full on bold for you. Break your beauty rut and create a splash. I, to get the 101 on your products, head to ipsy.com for the intel straight from the pros. Ah, so I guess they stopped doing the cards. Which I mean, I, I get because, you know, it's wasting paper and save the trees, you know. But, um, it was just so nice and convenient. Okay. I got something. Sorry, stuck in my my tooth. So we'll go on Ipsy. Okay, that's not Ipsy. Ipsy, Ipsy, Ipsy. Um, what else is in here? Here comes the sun. And by the way, the bright eyeliner, I'm gonna try that. I wanna get like a, I mean, cause as you can tell, I'm not afraid of color. Um, I want like a neon green or something, or teal, like a neon teal color. Or hot pink. I'm gonna try that next time. Okay, so it says five tips to make, oh, see this is cute. See, they give like a little info. So five tips to make your SPF, to, sorry. <laughs> five tips to maximize your SPF. One, wear it everywhere, which I used to never do it indoors. And I'm, I'm learning, I put a little, actually when I got an Ipsy, a little bottle of face sunscreen from Cool, Coolo, Cooley? I didn't put any setting spray, setting spray on today, did I? Um, Kula. See, I got Kula. This one has, it's a SPF 30 setting spray. So. But I did put, um, I did put sunscreen on before I put my makeup on. I put it in my bathroom so that just after, like, I, I do my, um, my face res regimen for the morning before I do makeup, I'll just, after my, like my moisturizer, I'll stick it on there. Uh, okay, so wear it everywhere. 30 and flirty. Doctors agree SPF 30 and higher is best to ward warding off sun damage. Okay, make it a habit. Reapply it like a pro every two hours. Wow, if you're outside. If you're working indoors, do it twice a day. And keep it fresh. Extreme heat like a car can hinder the protection. Well, we learned something new today. I didn't know every two hours. I have this powder and it's, I think from Tarte and it's like an SPF powder stick. Th these little hairs I, I drive me crazy. They're just, <sighs> oh, I'm getting my hair done guys. So finally, so Thursday, I actually chopped it myself. It was like maybe this much longer. I just kind of but it was like really thin and dead and I just, it drove me crazy, so. But I mean, I literally just kinda like separated it and it snip and didn't fix anything. 
So, I mean, it doesn't look bad, but if you look up close, it's not, it's not straight. So, these videos this week, this is my hair, but pay attention because next week it will be different. I don't know how different because I don't know what I'm going to do to it, but it will be trimmed. So, you know, my bangs probably won't be down to here. <laughs> That's how long it's been since I've had my hair done. Okay, I'm sorry. Someone's going to get irritated and be like, um, okay, let's see. Five minutes and 28 seconds is when I'm going to start showing my products. <laughs> okay, first thing is first, we have the bag. These are cute. Not my, not my, my favorite, but they're cute. Um, so the little yellow bag with the little, um, people. What is the pe like laying out, they're laying out in the sun. I can't think, like they're at the beach. I can't think of it. Yellow, it's yellow inside. It says Ipsy. It's got a little mint green, little Ipsy tag. Um, what's interesting is, is in the picture, I went online to look. In the picture, it's a green one, but they gave me a yellow one. Which, I mean, I don't, I don't care. I don't, I mean, they're not really my favorite. Either of them are really my favorite. But, um, hmm, okay. Okay, so then the products. The first thing we have is Ciate London's Marble Metallics Metallic Glitter Eyeshadow. And let's see what it says. It doesn't really say anything. It just, oh, okay. See, I wish I had prices. It does. Okay, full size is $24. Is this full size? I think this is full size. I can't even get the stupid thing open. <gasps> uh, I'm a little flustered today, if you haven't noticed. It's been a long week. Already. It was a long weekend. I had a horrible weekend. I had such bad head migraines and just stuff. Okay, so this is the eyeshadow. They always send like the same colors. Oh, it has like a little, I don't want to touch the eyeshadow. So it's like a loose shadow. It has this little thing. So I know I'm not going to use this. I mean, it's a pretty color, but I have a million different things like with this color. Um, let's see what it says. Marbled metal eyeshadow. It says, consider this glittery shadow pot your one-stop shop for creating tons of eye-catching looks. The powder to cream formula. Oh, coats eyes in metallic light pink pigments that never fade crease or dry out the color payoff is extreme but the application process is effortless so this actually costs the same amount as the entire box I'm gonna go ahead and try it I lied um, because is it like it's very like soft I don't know if you can see that um, sometimes I'll take a color like this like if I need to run to the store I'll just do a little mascara um, and then I'll put like a an eyeshadow, just something like this all over my eyes. Ooh, that is that is actually really pretty. I do I do like that. That would be pretty just as like a light little, you know. I kind of like how they have this too. I'm not finishing my sentence sentences, huh? Okay. So we got that. Um, how do I go back? Got it all over my hands. Next, we have nice Nacific. It took me a minute because it's like Pacific, but yeah. Nacific Fresh Herb Origin Eye Cream with Calendula. Oops, where did my Ipsy go? <laughs> I had it on my screen and I, I clicked back too many times. Gosh, everything is like sealed up, isn't it? Okay, so let's learn about this. So it's an eye cream. Um, it says, give your delicate eye area the TLC it deserves with this multitasking eye cream. Um, so this is what the, that's a, that's, I mean, that's a lot for eye cream because I have, I have this eye cream that I got like a year ago from Birchbox and it's about this big and about half, not maybe half, but like a, it's a little smaller. And I, I feel like the whole, it's like still, or no, I think I got it. Did I get a birch box earlier? I don't know. That's besides the point. I use it all the time, and I still have like most of it. Um, 
Let's see, dealing with unwanted under eye baggage, this cream's airy texture cools and soothes on contact to deflate puffiness and swelling. Fake awake with niacinamide, the trendy skin brightening ingredient fades dark circles and shadows to make it look like you've slept a full eight hours. It actually feels like fluffy. <laughs> I don't know, like when I'm touching it, it's like feels like light and airy. Um, this retails for $30. So let's see her. Is she fluffy? Um, I mean, she's not, doesn't come out fluffy, but this is going to be a nice, oh, it's very like sticky. Um, but I do think, oh, it's got like a lemon, a lemon smell. I, mean, I know you're not really supposed to put the eye cream over your makeup, but I've been feeling a little puffy, so. Oh, I like that. Man, I have like three. Now this is four eye creams open right now <laughs> because I can't decide. I actually had one of my very favorite ones, um, which is the, um, oh my gosh, it's the orange one. What the heck is that brand? Uh, I can't think of it. Well, I, one of my favorite ones, I hadn't used it yet. And I turned around and ended up just giving it to my mom because I knew she'd like it. And I was like, I have too many eye creams open. I don't need any more. But I need this one. I think I'm going to put the, this will be nice. I'm going to put it in my little mini fridge. Okay. Next. Ooh, I'm excited about this. Okay. We've got Haas Laboratories. Le Lee Riot Lip Gloss in Corset. So this is um, Lady Gaga's brand, and I've seen it before, and even though I'm not big on like lip products, I wanted to try it just because, I don't know, I wanted to test, test it out before we're talking about it. Um, let's see, hydrating lip gloss, retails for $18, and look at the packaging. I mean, you could just set that, it's like a building. Um, so I've been really wanting to try this. I've almost bought it. You can actually get these on Amazon. Although if you go on Ipsy Shopper, you probably get a discount. It's probably cheaper. Ooh, it's got a nice pop. Don't really smell much. Um, where did that? Let's put it right here. Does it feel like a lot came out? Oops. Oh, it's an interesting, okay, look at this. Um, see how it's like curved? That's a little different. I was expecting it to just be like a regular, it like hugs your lip. See that, like that? Okay. My lips are so dry. I got like dry skin, I hate that on your lips. It feels really nice. And it's not like sticky. You know how some lip, lip glosses are just, you know, they get like super sticky. This one's not like that. I'm in love with this. I really am. Probably gonna get it on my teeth. Cause I always do that. This is great. I'm actually, I really, I know it does. I know like there's not a lot of color. But for me, I like that. Plus, I go crazy with my eyes. I don't know if I'd look very good if I went crazy with my lips, too. <laughs> um, okay. I got it all over my hand. <sighs> I'm all over the place. Okay. Next thing, I think I already said okay twice, is bliss. Oh my gommage. Like, oh my gosh, oh my gommage. <laughs> Gentle polishing cleanser. Huh. So I've used something like this before and I, I thought it was weird. Um, so it says cleansing and exfoli exfoliating are arguably the two most important steps when it comes to glowing skin, glowy skin. Uh, this multitasking step combines both into one easy step let's see it says it's a gentle milky formula nourishes skin to minimize redness and irritation 
while quickly removing dirt and excess oil. Non-abrasive, plant-based. Hmm. Retails for fifteen dollars. I don't. I don't know if I'll like this. I don't know. Has anyone tried this? I've you. I swear I've used something like this before, but I don't think this. It was this brand. Um, but you just. It's like a solid. So I'm guessing you get your face wet and then do this shot. I don't know. I mean, I like. I do like trying new things, but I'm not sure I'll like that or not. I don't know. We'll see. And then the last thing is Tula Skincare Probiotic Skincare. What is this? Protect and Glow Daily Sunscreen Gel Broad Spectrum 13. And this was my pick because um, they let you pick every every month. You get to pick one product that's in your um, your box for the month. And so this is what I picked. Um, so let's see, it's sunscreen, um, I mean it's just a sunscreen. Retails for $36 for this little thing. Sunscreen's expensive. It gets really expensive. The only thing I don't care for is, um, I like the spray sunscreen. I mean for my face, I, I, it doesn't matter, but I like, like, you know, it's easier to just spray, you know, okay, you're gone, you're ready to go. I guess maybe because I have kids. Um, let's see. <laughs> oh, it's going to give you a dewy glow. So probiotics to hydrate and prevent water loss while helping strengthen the skin barrier. Has pineapple and papaya to help promote even skin tone. <laughs> uh, and then wild butterfly ginger root protects against blue light stress. Oh, that's actually good. Apply a generous even layer to face. Oh, it's for your face. Um, do not use on damaged broken skin. So it is a face one. Okay. I've had a few Tula products and I've liked them. Does it smell? I don't smell anything. So this is what, and look at, I don't know what I did right there. I was at the grocery store yesterday and um i tend to go overboard with hand sanitizer when i'm at the grocery store so i was about to check out and i went ahead and sprayed my hands on my hand sanitizer and my it started burning on my finger and i realized i had a scrape and i don't sometime in the grocery store i cut myself on my middle finger see no i'm kidding <laughs> i mean it does make your skin look at well i have stuff all over this but it is giving my skin like a nice bit of a glow. Hmm, okay. It doesn't smell like much. It kind of smells like it has the slightest scent of pineapple, like cooked pineapple. If you know what I mean, that cooked pineapple smell. Um, slightly, like not, not a lot, but just slightly. Okay, I'm going to go total this up. Hold on. Okay, so... It was $123 value, which is pretty good because I spent 25 bucks. Um, I'm trying to think. I think it's supposed, was it Glam Bag Plus supposed to be a $125 value? Which $2 does not, I'm like, I'm fine with that. Um, it's, if I get one product or even two, then I'm happy because it pretty much pays for it. Um, and like I said, so this eye cream I'm excited about. And that, what was that? That was 30 bucks, so that's more than the box. Um, but to recap, and I'm, you know, I'm honestly fine not getting a palette, by the way. I know some people want palettes in every box, but I have a lot of palettes. I have too many palettes. And I just bought, I'll show you this palette I just bought. It's so cute from Nomad. I just couldn't resist. I do not buy palettes anymore because I get so many of them. But this one, it just called my name. I'm wearing it today these colors I don't know it just called my name so I'm fine with not getting a palette every month because I don't need it because I'm gonna get it I'm sure I'll get one in another you know subscription too um, but to recap we got the Ciate London um, marbled metals eyeshadow we got the house laboratories lip gloss which I'm obsessed over the bliss uh, skin cleanser skin of course it's a skin cleanser <laughs> the bliss cleanser the nasific 
eye cream. Is this, um, oh yeah, it's a uh, K-Beauty, which I love K-Beauty stuff. And then the Tula face sunscreen, which everyone needs that now. Even though I don't really need it. I have a ton of sunscreens, but um, I just put them everywhere. In every room, in every car, in every purse or bag or diaper bag. So you never have too many. Anyways, okay, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for... <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> um, I think it's Amazon. A delivery guy just walked up, and I could see him right there, and I'm, you know, yeah. Well, that's embarrassing. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and have a beautiful day.